people of this world, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, if you are new here. I know that I have been absent on YouTube for uh, maybe about two months. I did about six weeks of traveling and I'm back now. I just had to get settled in with work and everything, but I finally have time to sit down and film this video for you. Just some quick updates. I wanted to share with you guys something I'm really, really happy and excited about. I finally purchased one of the Jeffree Star handheld mirrors. I'm literally so happy about this because honestly I'm obsessed with them. I got the lavender purple color and it's just going to be really nice when I'm filming now. I just have this mirror to look at rather than kind of switching through all the mirrors and all the palettes I have. It's a really, really nice size and it's everything I ever wanted and actually I do have to say my boyfriend did purchase this for me so thanks Jamal, you to bomb. I also did purchase two of his liquid lipsticks. I plan to hopefully use one on camera today. It really just depends how the eye look turns out and if I feel that it matches. <clears throat> if it matches. It is like a nude peachy shade so I think it should be fine but I don't want to make any promises. So I guess that is the intro. If you guys are curious to hear about any of my travels, if you want to see any videos, just comment down below let me know. I also did post a few like travel pictures on another Instagram that I have. It is North of Nicole. I will just link it right down here if you do want to check that out. But you can also follow me on my beauty Instagram. That is Nicole SI Beauty. That will also be linked or not linked but It'll also be written down here. Okay, now I have literally said everything I need to say for that intro, and now we're gonna jump into the video. Based on the title of this video, you probably know what's going on. I will be attempting to use every single color in the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. There are 35 colors in this, okay? I just wanna say that, and I do just wanna take the plunge, take the challenge, and just see if I can put them all on my eyes. So with all of that being said, let's jump into this video. So, so far I have done just my base, so my concealer, my powder, and then I did my eyebrows and I have, um, what's it called, Urban Decay Primer Potion just on my eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just set the eyes. Normally I would just use like a nude color for this, but I am gonna be obviously going in with this shade right here from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna take this and we're just going to set the eye. This is a very like cool tone frosty color. So normally I wouldn't use something like this to set the eye but I'm trying to use all the colors here people. I do love this shade though. It is super pigmented. The payoff is unreal. It makes a really nice like inner corner brow bone color. Today you're my base color. That's like the one thing I don't like about this palette is there actually is no real base color. Like I think every palette should really just have like a nude. And then I'm taking that second shade next to it and I'm just putting that on the brow bone as a highlight. Oh, I should probably zoom you guys in so you can like see what is going on. Uh, my apologies, people. Hopefully that is better. My head's a little cut off, but it's okay. And I still got all these flyaways, but we're going with it. So next, I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush, and I'm going in with these two shades here. I'm going to mix them, tap off the excess, and that is going into the crease. I think what I want to film next on my channel is like the no mirror makeup challenge. I know it's like been super overdone, but I just want to know for myself if I could do it. Now I'm going in with this color right here just to deepen it up a bit. These colors, they blend so nice. The next one I'm going to go in with is this color right here. This color reminds me so much of um, Makeup Geek Chickadee that I just always want to call it Chickadee. And then if you want to, you can go back in just with one of the first transition shades just to kind of tie everything together. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And on a more defined brush, I'm just gonna take that more definely in the crease. I'm gonna put as many transition shades as I can so I can use as many colors before I start going in with the shimmers because I think the shimmers is gonna definitely be the hardest part because with mattes and with transition you can just build and build and build and eventually it'll just kind of look like brown but with the shimmers it's definitely gonna be a lot harder. 
I literally wrote down like the order. I'm just gonna go in with the color right next to it and blend more basically. I don't know if this has been done on YouTube. Like someone tries to use all the colors in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Like I know using all the colors in like a 12, 15, like whatever it is, 16 eyeshadows, but 35, I don't know if that's been done. If it is, like leave it down below. I'd love to see how theirs turns out like versus mine. Next, I think I'm gonna start to go in with more of these red warm tones, but I don't know if I should do the shimmer. I don't know. I'm gonna go in on the same brush with this color right here. We're gonna start to make it redder and warmer and go from there. I'm kind of winging it with the mattes. The only thing I know is that black is gonna be the last shade. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is a little bit darker and more brown than the color I just went in with. Same brush, guys. I love this brush because it's tapered. You can really precisely put the product exactly where you want it. And then with no additional product, just on my really fluffy brush, I'm just gonna blend everything together. The next color I'm gonna go in with is just this one right here. And I'm doing the same technique. Just gonna eventually get darker and darker and darker as I go on. I honestly don't know the last time I was wearing this much in my crease. Probably never. I'm gonna go in with this one right here. I know it's a little bit lighter. I kind of should have gone in with that before, but we're going in with it now. I'm going in with the Anastasia brush, just the more stippling side, and I'm gonna take this color right here. That is going on the outer corner. So as you can see, that just added a little bit of depth on the outer corners. I'm like, what did I even go in with? Did I go in with this one, guys? I don't. I did. I did. Okay. Last color before I start working on the shimmers is just going to be this brown right down here. And that is just going in the same area. Now the easy part is over. Now going in with the shimmer won't be. First color I'm going to go in with is this one right here. This is just going to go on the inner corner like really little on the other inner corner because I gotta leave room for all the other colors. So it's literally going right on the inner part here. Next color is gonna be the one that's right next to it. So this one here. And that's gonna go right in like the center of the inner corner and the center. I have, um really watery eyes so this one's looking a little patchy over here just because my eye was watering and there's nothing that I can do about that next color is gonna be the run the one the one right at the end here that is going to be right next to it it's not gonna be right in the center because I'm gonna split the center with like three different shades I have to do really strategic placing so I can fit a retang Next, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's just gonna go one right after the other, people. So this is going right on the center. We are getting a little bit more fallout now as well with the colors. Just wanna point that out. The mattes though, the mattes were beautiful, except for one of those browns. They blended beautifully. It's a lot of makeup. Next. We're going in with this color right here. This is going right here. I do have to just say, because these blend so beautifully, this isn't taking me as long as it definitely would with other palettes. Then we're going in with this color right here. I think. Should I forget about something? No. Okay, this one's next. Yes. This is going almost at the outer corner. Then I'm going in with this shade, ooh, the shade right here. This is gonna go right on the outer corner. I don't know why I said that's so weird, but it's going right on the outer corner. Oh my God, look at that fallout. So in terms of shimmers, besides the colors, I still have to use this one, this one, this one, and that's it, right? Oh, and 
this one. Oh, and this one. Okay. I'm gonna go in with this one first, and I'm gonna pop that right here. I'm gonna go in. I'm like, which one do I go in with? <laughs> okay, I got this. I've got this. I'm gonna go in with this one. And this is gonna go somewhere on my eye. Uh, it's gonna go right here. I'm going in with this one next, this one here. After this, it's two more shimmers, and then we're onto the bottom, which is gonna be color. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna look, but we trying. This is gonna go on the center, and then I'm gonna go in back on the center with that other color for that extra pop. Ooh, my eye's watering. Then this shade right here, I don't know where you're going, but you're gonna fit. You're gonna go like right here. Oh man, you are golden. You are beautiful. Last but not least, sort of. Whoa, look at my fallout. Last but not least is just this color right here. This is going right, right on the center of the lid. I'm going to attempt to, oh, that was actually really easy to get the fallout off. I'm still gonna have to go back over it after, but I obviously just wanna finish up the eye. Okay, my leaky eye is kind of ruining it, but what you gonna do? So now I'm just gonna take this color and this is just gonna go right on the outer part here to the other side so i'm just gonna do the shadow on my lash line now and like my bottom lash line and we're gonna see how that goes this is where all the color is gonna go so i'm not sure how this is gonna go right now just based on looking the only thing is like right in my inner corner here if you can see just because i do have super watery eyes it is starting to break up a bit so I'm probably gonna have to go back over that. I'm just gonna leave it for now, title it dry, but that's not the, the shadows, it's not the formulas, that's my freaking eye. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here just with a pencil brush. <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes. That's looking interesting. This definitely shows up more than Pat McGrath. Just saying. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shimmery teal shade right on top. So this color right here. I also just wanna put it out there, guys. Like, I do have my certification, but I am nowhere near, at least I don't think I'm near as talented as some of these people. Just bear with me. I'm really doing my best, but this is definitely way out of my comfort zone. I'm more into like natural glam, soft glam everyday type makeup so I would definitely not not leave my house in this next I'm gonna deepen it up with this forest this one right here this forest green color I'm mainly sticking towards the outer part here to add some depth next I'm gonna take the shade right next to it this like forest green shimmery color and this is just gonna go right on top I'm just gonna take my pencil brush and just blend all those colors together. Then, with that same pencil brush, I'm gonna go in with that chickadee color, as I like to say. This color right here. And that is just gonna go on top of all those colors. I probably should have done this first, but I'm doing it now. It's just gonna add a nice hue and it's gonna help to tie in to the colors that are on top. I kind of went in with that teal first, like I wasn't really thinking. Because I was like, I've used all these colors already. But normally, you would definitely want to go in with a couple, like, brown shades. Because it's, like, the same as doing your eyes on top. If you wouldn't just straight go in with a teal, wow, I literally just, like, whacked eyeshadow in my eye. But you wouldn't just straight go in with the teal. You would go in with the browns, and you go in with the reds or the whatevers, and then you would go in with the teal color. So I kind of, kind of fibbed it there. That definitely helped to blend it out a lot more. Next, one of the last colors is just this purple right here. I'm going in with this is gonna go on like the inner part and then we're gonna have the blue kind of in the middle tying them together when I was experimenting with all the colors to decide like what colors I was going to go in with in what order the blue was really patchy so we're gonna see how it 
goes. I don't know if it's gonna make that much of a pop, but we will try. Second last but not least, after this is just black, um, is this color right here, the blue. I hope that this shows up, but we will see. This is just going right in the center between those two colors. I'm then once more going in with that chickadee shade. I just think because it is on my lower lash line, for me, the colors are disappearing a little bit, especially now that I put down that chickadee shade. So I'm just going to have to go over once more and just make sure that everything is blending seamlessly. <sighs> Nicole, you can do this. I believe in you. Blending it together. Wow. The eyes, the top, looks really, in my opinion, considering how much shadow there is, looks really good compared to the bottom. Last but not least, I'm just taking a flat definer brush and not black. And it's just going to be pushed right onto the lash line. Whew, you guys. This totally took a turn. I knew doing the colors on the bottom was just gonna look super bottom heavy on me just because of my skin tone, my eye shape, and just this. I'm going to pop on some mascara, fix my base, some like blush and everything, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here's the completed look. Without, I haven't done my lips yet, I'm getting there. I threw on some blush like super quick. Um, do I love it? No. The top half, I honestly did my best to fix this area, guys, but my eye is just watering. It's watering on the edge, too, um, so I'm not just going to keep fixing it to, for it to need more fixing and more fixing. Honestly, the top half is not bad. It's just the bottom half. These eye looks just don't suit me. I don't know if it's something that I'm doing wrong with my blending or if it's the brushes I'm using, but every time I try to do like a nice smoky look on my bottom lashes or like a pop of color, it just always ends up looking like shit. So if you guys have any tips or tricks or if it's like just my face, let me know down below because I would really like to know. Honestly, I really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy challenging myself. I do tend to just go for the colors that I'm safe with, that I'm comfortable with, that I know that I like, that I know work on me, like look good on me. There were colors in there that I was really surprised by that I'd never tried before that I definitely will be reaching for. It definitely made me realize that I can pull off a little bit smokier of a look, but definitely nothing like this. So to end this video on a hopefully positive note, I am going to be going in with Jeffree Star, what is this, birthday suit. I do just want to make a little bit of a note that mine does have like a super chemically scent. I've not worn it like all day, but I have tried it on. It didn't like make my lips feel anything weird, but I did order one other one and it did have like a more cakey scent. So I don't know why that is. I just probably got a dud, but I mean, it still applies really nice. So I'm just going to go in with this and yeah. I'm just going to go in with one more dunk. It feels really comfortable. I really like the wand, but I'm not going to lie. It looks a little streaky. I don't know if it's just mine, but honestly, it doesn't totally bother me. It's just gonna go a lot faster if I have to do two layers, but I really, really love the way the color looks on me. I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks. I do really love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I find that when they wear off, they don't like crack and crumble, which a lot of um, liquid lipsticks can do on me. Wow, my eye is watering so much right now. Ugh. Overall, it does feel super comfortable. It emphasizes a little bit of the cracks, but I do think I'm going to reach for it. I do have to do a wear test. I'm not going to be doing that today just because I'm about to go take all of this off and then go for all-you-can-eat sushi. I just definitely have to wear it a lot more and see how it wears. My last final things I want to say, I know that this look is not a look, but overall I'm really glad that I did it and I learned. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you liked me, subscribe to my channel and I will definitely be seeing you guys soon. Thank you so much and have a great day. Peace out, homies.